um, the bottom line is, is inflammation is the primary cause of probably a good 95% of all the ailments that Americans have that we account to things like aging. Um, and the, the, we can all appreciate that some age much more gracefully than others. And a large part of that has to do with inflammation. And nothing um, really impacts inflammation more than food. Um, food is the primary source. Basically, um, for most of you that have been in my office, you recognize that, um, that I, I've taught this in numerous different ways, but to summarize it, there's really only two causes of death and disease. Chemical and structural. That's it. Poisoning, blunt head trauma. You know what I'm saying? So it it's really boils down to that. Um, those two overlap, and um, I'll, I'll touch on that slightly at the end, but for those of you who are chiropractic patients in our office, this is not true of all chiropractic offices, you should, if you've been here for any length of time, I mean, you should have a fairly good understanding of that, in, that blurring of the lines, the interface between chemical and structural. But um, we will address some of that a little bit today, too, because the bottom line is, it doesn't matter what food you put in, if, if you don't have a GI system, then uh, you can put the best stuff in that you want and it's not going to work. Or if your gastrointestinal system is broken and it's not working properly, um, you could put the best nutrients in and you're not going to get the full benefit. Um, so let's just dive into this. Um, the biggest challenge we have when we start presenting information is typically people that ha uh, come to these classes are either um, already so set in their ways that they're really coming in with, with um, earplugs in. They're, they're coming in totally cynical. They say they want to learn but they don't really want to and then there's those who have overlearned and um, you know and, and I'm, I'm guilty of that you know certainly what I was taught in my um, pre chiropractic nutrition classes at you know local university is it's all wrong what was what was taught 25 years ago um, we now know is largely wrong and for some of us especially lay people um, what happens is it's really hard to let go of um, what we were brought up believing so, you know, if you were raised in an era that said, um, you know, butter's bad, margarine's better, it, it's hard to let go of the margarine, right? I mean, and so, uh, so we want to address those issues. I like this quote from Winston Churchill. We occasionally stumble over the truth, but most of us pick ourselves up and hurry off as if nothing happened. You know, isn't that true? I know it's been true in my own life.